Greg Gianforte joins us right now. The Montana governor, the first in the country to ban or at least try to TikTok in his state. He's kind enough to join us. Uh, governor, always good to have you. I mean, you started this idea that, look, the, the, the only option we have now if China isn't going to budge, if they're not going to sort of divest themselves, uh, then, then we'll divest of TikTok and we just won't use it. But it's an uphill battle still, isn't it? It is. But, you know, the CCP's ability to use TikTok to spy on Americans has been Chinese really well Communist documented. Party, but go, go ahead. I'm sorry, sir. Correct. The Chinese Communist Party have used these platforms to spy on Americans. China is not our friend. And I, I just applaud the House for taking the bipartisan action they did today. We, as you noted, we were the first state, Montana, to ban TikTok here in the state because we want to protect the citizens of our state and this country. Let me ask you, though, Governor, um, the way this sounds, it's not an outright ban to begin with. It's like a, a parent who gives a child warnings. So you better do this first or then, then everything goes. And the warning here is that the parent bite dance for TikTok, uh, Chinese owned and operated, uh, divest itself of, of, of TikTok, get out of the TikTok world. Um, but again, even if China were to agree to that or bite dance through China were to agree to that, I guess they're the same. Who's to say they'll honor it? Well, I mean, you're, you've gotten to the root of it. This is about allowing foreign nationals to spy on Americans. And it doesn't matter if it's China or North Korea or Russia. We should not allow these foreign adversaries to have an inroads to our uh, young people in this country and their private information. Uh, if they were divested, that would clean up the problem. And that's exactly what the House has attempted to do. Um, you know, you mentioned the young people as well, and that apparently one of the things that really maybe backfired on, on TikTok were, were getting its users, particularly young users, to petition their congressmen or whoever uh, that this was a bad idea. So all these kids are essentially calling Capitol Hill, and that reinforced the argument that China's manipulating uh, kids. What did you make of that? Did you run into that in Montana? Well we saw the same thing in Montana. The platform was weaponized to mobilize their users. We had uh, hundreds and hundreds of phone calls uh, into the state capitol. Uh, and many of these young people didn't even know why they were calling. They, hmm. The phone would ring, we'd answer, and they'd say, who is this? And this is all because of a splash screen was put up. It was geofenced into Montana. Uh, these young people were told to call the governor's office and complain about the, uh, the actions to protect their privacy. Uh, and we took note of them. Most of the callers didn't even know why they were calling. Uh, where do you see this going, Governor? Of course, you led the way on this. Still dicey because you got a lot of people fighting your your move and the legislature dealing with all of that. But uh, uh, let's say this gets China to blink which is a leap. We don't know that. And, and that, that it will divorce itself from, or bite dance, the parent from TikTok. As you said, no guarantees that they will honor that. But, but that this might be a watershed event in that it could endanger other sites and social media companies having nothing to do with China. And an avalanche begins going after social media for being intrusive, for spying on us, all of that. American and foreign companies alike. What do you think of that argument? Well, I think we're, this action is restricted to foreign adversaries. Uh, we don't want them to have inroads onto our mobile devices to spy on Americans. That's pretty simple. Divest it, continue to use TikTok. But this is a multifaceted approach. We've also taken the action here to ban the purchase of farmlands by foreign adversaries. Uh, and we've been building ties with our friends in the region. In fact, we reopened our uh, trade office in Taipei uh, because the Taiwanese stand for freedom and we need to stand for with people that stand for freedom. Governor Gianforte, very good seeing you again. Thank you, sir. Yeah, thank you.